Welcome to another episode of the Microsoft Perview Quick Start series. It's episode number 18, long time ago since the um, last video. Today I would like to show you the new portal, the new Perview portal. And uh, let's head over to the demo. If you start your Perview journey using the new URL, it's purview.microsoft.com, You've got the information that there's the classic portal and there's a new portal and the new portal, well, has everything in it that you need. So let's take that one. It's a public preview and I want to try it now. What you see here, it's the entry screen and you can start to explore all the solutions. So what you see here, it's the different applications, the different pieces that are now in the Perview portal. And now we've got the combined Microsoft Perview portal here. It's not only the data catalog, it's also the, the applications coming from the M365 compliance side, uh, information protection, insider risk management, and so on. Today, I would like to focus on the data map and the data cataloging part. So in this video, let's talk data catalog. Let's start with the platform solution, the data map. And if we move to that one, there's one, one big change which was introduced in November 2023. It's the domains. So above the collections, as you can see, those are collections and sub-collections. The Perfu team, they introduced the domains on the um, root level and below the domains we've got the collections and we can create sub collections over here so collections and we can create everything as we had and did in the past so domains are the overall level now the root level over here role assignments are available and there's one new role which is called the domain administrators which can be applied at the root level so collections, create new collections, and the collections are the thing where you put all your sources. When talking about sources, you've got the graphical representation, you've got the table view, nothing changed over here. Some sources has been added in the uh, meantime, but nothing different to the concept. Define your source, define your um, everything you need for your scans and all the information you need, your scan rule sets, your pattern rules, the integration runtimes, so to connect to on-premises data sources, that one is found in the source management menu over here. Annotation management, it's the classification, system classification, custom classifications, and all their uh, required classification rules. The meta model, it's the asset types and the managed attributes. So the asset types, we've got an organization, there are products and so on and so forth. And the managed attributes to define groups, for example, for SQL stored procedures that we can add some business logic, definition, description, owners, and so on. To navigate into your or in your Perfume uh, Studio, it's the solutions where we can head over to the overall solutions page or there are related solutions over here. So from the data map itself, we can head over to the data catalog. As we know it, we've got the search box over here. We can search for uh, customer information, start that one. We get the list. There are some changes in the user interface where we can filter, we can add filters over here. And there is also the filter option for those managed attributes, for example, the business logic attribute group I've, I've shown you in the past screen. We can start uh, to browse our data catalog, similar to the old stuff, source types and browse by collection. Business glossaries are over here and there are business glossaries. We can now create more than one glossary in our Perfu account. That one is not really new with the new portal that was introduced in the past, but we can now create two or more glossaries. Data sharing and data estate insights, it's also over here. Now back to the solutions, the settings part. That one is here. Let's move over. And there are two ways how to access the uh, settings of your Perfume account. It's 
on the solutions page or you can move over here and you can start moving to the settings to the account. And on that page, we've got the overview about our purview, what's the name of our account, where is it located, what's the type of uh, account. So we've got not the free edition, we've got the enterprise account and that one is running using one capacity unit as of now. We've got the data connectors, that one is related to the M365 environment where we can connect to other services to get information into that one. Network protection dealing with um, managed private endpoints and so on. So that one is the settings part. And last but not least, it's the workflows. Um, similar to the classical portal, we can create new workflows, we can edit our workflows, we can view the run history. So workflow runs are over here and also request and approvals self-service access and so on. Everything is listed here. There's the history. Um, so that is the new portal, quite a short overview. Um, looks nice. Um, some pieces are moved. Some pieces are put into another solution or region in your environment. But I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned, stay curious, treat your data better and see you next time. Thank you.